प्रेम से बोले गजानन स्वामी की जय उमापति महादेव की जय पवन सुत हनुमान की जय नव दुर्गा देवी माता की जय आप लोग कराओ जाए प्लीज धन इज ज्वाइन वंस अगेन ऑन दिस द फोर्थ नाइट ऑफ द फाइव नाइट ज्ञान यज्ञ visualizing the beautiful form of our lord god bhagwan shri ganapati lord ganesh who is the embodiment of wisdom and the remover of all obstacles fear and anxieties from our lives let's all pray om vakra tunda mahakaya koti surya sama prabha निर्विघ्नम कुरु मे देवा सर्वकारेशु सर्वदा ओम वीनाधरे विपुल मंगल दान शीले भक्तार्थी नाशिनी विरंजि हरीश वंदे कीर्ति प्रदे अखिल मनोरथ दे महाहे विद्या प्रदायिनी सरस्वती नौमी नित्यम ओम गुरुर् ब्रह्मा गुरुर् विष्णु गुरुदेव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्मा तस्म श्री गुरवे नम ओं अकंदमंदलाकार व्यान चराचर तत्पम दर्शित तस्म श्री गुरवे नम तस्म श्री गुरवे नम ओं श्री अनुभवानंदय नम ओं श्री चिन्मयानंदय नम ओं श्री गुरुदत्ताय नम ओं श्री सत्यसाईश्वराय नम ओं श्री सत्यसाईश्वराय नम ओम श्री शंकर नम सलोतीश टू द मदर ऑफ दिस यूनिवर्स माँ यू आर जयंती मंगला काली भद्र काली का पालनी दुर्गा क्षमा शिवधात्री स्वाहा स्वधा नमोस्तुति थ्रू दीज नाइन नेम्स एंड फॉर्म्स वी बाउट यू we seek your grace and your guidance o shakti ma as we wave the soft and sacred light before you may we your children never become the victim of darkness salutations again and again sunno meri devi parvat vasini tera palan paaya ma तेरा पालन पाया सुनो मेरी देवी पर्वत वासी तेरा पालन पाया मां तेरा पालन पाया सुपारी गजा नारियल पान सुपारी गजा नारियल प्रेत 
त्रिभेत चराया माँ त्रिभेत चराया सुन मोरी देवी पर्वत वासुनी तेरा पालन पाया तेरा पालन पाया दीप नैवेद्य आरती रूप दीप नैवेद्य आरती मोहन बोगल गाया मोहन बोगल गाया सुनो मोरी देवी पर्वत वासी तेरा पालन पाया तेरा पालन पाया सत्युग त्रेता वहाँ पर मधे सत्युग त्रेता वहाँ पर मधे कल युग राज सवाया कल युग राज सवाया सुन मोरी देवी पर्वत वासी तेरा पालन पाया पग तेरे आगे आया नंगे पग तेरे आगे आया सोने का छत्र चढ़ाया सोने का छत्र चढ़ाया सुन मोरी देवी पर्वत वासी तेरा पालन पाया माँ तेरा पालन पाया ओ सर्व मंगल मांगलिए शिवे सर्वार्थ साधिके शरणे त्रयंबके गौरी नारायणी नमोस्तुते अम्बा अम्बा जय जगदम्बा अम्बा अम्बा जय जगदम्बा ओ अम्बा अम्बा जय जगदम्बा ओ अम्बा जय जगदम्बा अम्बा अम्बा जय जगदम्बा कात्यायनाय विद्महि कन्यकुमारी देवमहि तन्नो दुर्गी प्रचोदयाः हर 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 महादेवा बम 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 बोला ओम नमः शिवाय ओम नमः शिवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय भगवते वासुदेवाया ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाया ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाया ओम नमो 
भगवते वासुदेवाय भगवते वासुदेवा प्रिंस बोली वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की जय उमापति महादेव की जय पवन सुत हनुमान की जय नव दुर्गा माता की जय आप लोग आसन लीजिए प्लीज बी सी तेरे प्रिंस बोले नव दुर्गा माता की जय महालक्ष्मी देवी माता की जय सरस्वती महामाता की जय वंस अगेन माय फ्रेंड्स इट इज ग्रेट प्लेजर ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ द मैनेजमेंट टीम एंड ऑर्गेनाइजर्स ऑफ दिस यज्ञ हियर एट द स्कॉट्स एंड मेंडेज शिव मंदिर एज वी एक्सप्रेस our sincere thanks and gratitude to the hard working members of this beautiful mandir and when i say hard working members you can see around you my friends the touch of class and the dedication that would have gone into organizing this mandir and organizing not only for this yagya but all the various programs during the course of the entire year so to the executive team of the shiv mandir that is scots and mendes shiv mandir we would like to say a very very special thanks to kavita to vishal to bhaiya mukesh always a very wonderful human being always planning ahead always thinking of programs here at the mandir to keep the community together so to you bhaiya mukesh a very special thanks to you and bhaiya bisun hard working members i know all are hard working but I know over the years you are the ones who would have gotten in contact with me to be with you all time and time again. We would like to say thanks to Indira, to Mala, to Ram, Ramlakan, to Amarnath, and of course the other members. The list can go on and on, but to all the other members who are working behind the scenes. God bless you all. Keep up the wonderful job that you are doing, and keeping this mandir as a shining light here in your community. So, we like to say also special thanks to you, the audience who have come from far and near distances. As tonight, this course and tonight's devotion is dedicated to a very wonderful soul who have left this world. Today makes it exactly one year. On the 22nd of July 2021 Shrimati Babuni Bidesi left this world and today made it one year and as a family have sponsored tonight and they are participating in the nice devotion we pray that wherever the soul of mama is Babuni may Bhagwan Krishna may Devi Ma's grace and blessing be with her that her soul can merge with Bhagwan to become one and never return in the cycle of birth or in the cycle of death so tonight we dedicate tonight's devotion to this beautiful soul of shrimati babuni tonight also my friends we would like to say a very special thanks to those who are tuned in on g1 tatwa we would like to welcome all our viewers on facebook and of course we like to say thanks to miss nirala maharaj and we have another teacher here from parvati girls miss lisa she also is a hard working member of the mandir so we like to say thanks to all the viewers on g1 tatwa also to all those who are tuning in on classic radio the voice of love we like to say special thanks to those on classic radio and of course 
those who are tuned in on classicradio.com and classic radio facebook page so to those who are tuned in god's blessings to you and of course your wonderful families and loved ones there was supposed to be another paper here i think oh that's it so special thanks again to all the viewers streamers and those who are uh, tuned in tonight. We also, my friends, cannot express our uh, gratitude enough to Sankit Television for capturing tonight's moment as they did for the past nights. To Bhaiya Ramesh, we say thank you, Bhaiya. And of course, to Shirley Didi um, and the team at Sankit Television for doing human service in the name of Sanatan Dharma. Sankit TV is one station that you can go on, and there is nothing political, it is only devotional and spiritual and all the wonderful programs that give so many information, so much information rather, uh, on upliftment and self-motivation and the way the mind operates and thinks. We say thank you to Sankhya Television. Keep up the wonderful job. It is the first Hindu station that have been broadcasting 24-7 on spirituality and on devotional programs. So once again, to the team at Sankhya Television, special thanks and blessings to you and your wonderful families. My dear brothers and sisters, tonight our discourse will be very simple again, as we did last night, as we glorify and praise the Divine Mother, Ma Jagadamba, Durga Devi, Ma Lakshmi or Saraswati, as the case might be. We will touch on the Shakti aspect or the energy aspect of that Supreme Lord and Divine Mother. And we will try also to implement the teachings of the Divine Mother in our practical lives, which is most important. You see, when we come to satsang, it is very important that we apply the teachings to our lives. So when we leave here and we go to our homes, we can remember the katha and try to take something and just apply it in our lives. One thing only, you know, not the whole bunch of messages that is given. Just one thing we take and try to practice that. Abhyasa yoga, as Bhagwan Krishna says, practice it, practice it as a yoga in, in your life. And in that way, when you become perfect with that, like for example, when you're learning music, it's not just Sade Gama Padanisa. You have to take that Sade Gama Padanisa and now put all the songs and tunes that you know into, the, into those seven notes. You see? It's Sare Gama Padanisa, Sanida Pamagarisa. And like that, you take that now and you put all the music, all music, all songs are composed with just those seven notes. That's in Indian music. In English music, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. Same seven notes. Different language. And all songs are composed in just those seven notes. In the same way, my friends, when we take the music, sorry, when we take the teachings of the scriptures, we can apply one in our entire life. And Bhagwan says, you don't have to know much. You just have to practice what you know. That's all. And so, let us all turn our thoughts to the Divine Mother, Durga Devi, who is the Shakti of this world. And let us take these few moments and just drop everything at this moment. Some of us would have had a wonderful day today. Some would have had some challenges. Some people are praying to be healed because they are not well. Some people pray because they want peace. Some people pray just to be grateful for the Lord's grace and blessings in their lives. And some people pray because they want nothing. tonight whatever the reason we are here to pray but remember my friends the ultimate meaning of prayer is connecting with God 
connecting with yourself in prayer there is silence in prayer there is love in prayer there is humility but most of all in prayer there is complete surrender tonight as you make your connection think of the divine mother Om Pratamam Shaila Putri Cha Dvitiyam Brahmacharini Tritiyam Chandra Ganteti Kushmandeti Chaturtakam Panchamam Skandamateti Shashtam Katyayini Ticha Sabdamam Kalaratri Ticha Mahagauri Ticha Shtamam Navamam Siddhidatri Ticha Navadurga Prakirdita Uktanye Tani Namani Navadurga Prakirtita Om Jayanti Mangala Kali Bhadra Kali Kapalini Durga Kshama Shiva Dhatri Swaha Swadha Namo Stuti Swaha Swadha Namo Stuti Om Aim Hrim Klim Chamundaye Vichy 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 we pray that Ma, may your Shakti and divine protection be upon us all, O Devi Durga, in the form of Lakshmi Saraswati and your three Shaktis, your three divine powers. Ma, may you protect our sense organs, may you protect the eyes and our vision, may you protect our ears and the ability to listen, the nostrils and the ability to smell, O Devi Ma. May you protect our tongue and our ability to taste and speak. May you protect our Divine Mother, our skin. May you protect our hearts, the arteries, the kidneys and the pancreas. O Devi Durga, may you protect our stomach, Ma. For you are the Shakti and the greatest form of protection, O Divine Mother. May you protect us, Ma, our brains and our brain cells. May you protect our Divine Mother, every cell in our bodies. May you protect our chest, our stomach, our waist, our legs. May you protect our feet and every footstep that we take, O Divine Ma. For there are thousands in the world whose cells are multiplying, O Divine Mother. And tonight we ask you to extend your healing touch, O Devi Durga. For those who are affected by cancer, O Divine Mother, we pray that may your healing touch be upon those. O Devi Durga, for those who are at the hospitals tonight and they are begging for a chance to heal, O Mother, and do not know where to turn, please extend your blessing. May you bless our angels in human forms, the doctors and the nurses. May you bless the police officers, 
and the coast guards and the security guards and those who are protecting and serving ma as they protect and serve may you protect them O oh, Divine Mother, may you protect our communities here in our blessed land of Trinidad and Tobago. O oh, Devi, there are so many negative forces walking around. Ma, please protect us from the negative elements of society, O oh, Devi Durga. Protect us while we are awake. Protect us while we are dreaming and while we are in deep sleep, O oh, Divine Mother. Ma, may you protect, those, protect us from those who have evil intention towards us, O oh, Divine Ma. For who else can we turn to? May your Shakti pervade the entire universe and may your Shakti pervade every atom and every cell in our bodies. Ma, may you protect us at our workplaces and may you protect our jobs. May you protect our finances and may you bless our wealth. Ma, protect us while traveling by air, by water and even on the roadways of our nation that we can reach our destination. All of us tonight would have set certain goals to reach. Ma, please protect us and protect our goals. There are some people who have lost their jobs. Protect them and their families, Ma. Bless them with new jobs. Ma, there are those who are searching for jobs. Oh, Divine Mother, with your blessing, miracles happen. We know that we are living in difficult and challenging times. But with your grace, O oh Divine Mother, avenues are open for us. Please, O oh Divine Mother, protect us and bless us at our workplaces that we can do our jobs well and not take our position for granted. Ma, bless those who are in their homes tonight on the various frequencies. O oh Divine Mother, as we thank you again and again, may you continue to protect and bless us all in thought words and deeds He ma Durga He ma Durga He ma Durga Jai Jagadambe 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 Ma Durga from Mendes can't sing Narayani Om Narayani Om Come on, lift your voices Narayani Om Narayani Om Jai Jagadambe Ma Durga Jai Jagadambe Ma Durga Jai Jagadambe Ma Durga Jai Jagadambe Ma Durga
जगदम्बे मा दुर्गा जय जगदम्बे मा दुर्गा Devas and asuras are two aspect of the creation that we call the, the, the what you call the divine aspect which is the devas and then we have the asuras the negative aspect so you have the divine aspect and you have the what you call the negative aspect so as we are very familiar the peers of opposite is something that we all have to accept and live with so there is positive there is negative there is god there is demon there is right side there is left side there is good there is bad we have to live with these things there is sukha and there is dukkha happiness and there is sorrow so in between all of this there is a space there is a uh, what you call an in between that space is very important for us to always keep in mind now my friends since time immemorial the devtas and the asuras were in existence and for us to understand very clearly and understand in a very simple way it is like a government it is like a government governing different ministries so you have you have a prime minister that is the supreme brahman and then you have the king of heavens indra and then you have what you call different ministries and different ministers governing governing different ministries and that forms the government in the same way there is a spiritual government where you have the absolute form of bhagwan and then you have the different ministries or the different what you call aspect of creation that they govern so you have bhagwan vishnu as the absolute form of bhagwan krishna and then you have lord god indra indra lok you have mrityu lok this world of man and you have the nether regions and like different things in the what you call the creation so then you have the god of space and you have the god of wind and then you have the god of uh, what you call fire akash vayu agni jal and prithvi you have the god of space god of air god of fire god of water god goddess of the earth then bhagwan krishna says not only that he says the sun is divine and i am the sun among all luminaries aditya naam aham chasmi i am the what you call the sun among all luminaries bhagwan krishna says i am the what you call the moon among all stars so in other words you have the sun god you have the moon god you have surinarayan swami you have chandrama devta then you have the different planets governed by different de heads and different devtas so you have what you call the sun suryadev you have the moon chandrama you have mangal devta 
or Mars governed by Mangal Devata. You have Mercury governed by Buddha. You have what you call Jupiter governed by Brihaspati. Then you have Venus governed by Shukra Acharya. You have Saturn governed by Shani Baba. And then you have the two, the positive and negative of Rahu and Ketu, always opposite each other. My friends, all these are not gods. They are devas. Governing the different ministries and governing different aspects of creation. Like for example, in the home, you have the head of the home. You have the... Jai Bhagwan. So you have the head of the home. One person is the head and all the other people in the family report to that person because that person leads the family. So that person becomes like the god of the home. So I don't want anyone to ever be confused as to the Hindus have all these different manifestations and all these different form of gods, etc., etc. You see, my friends, it is simply to create that positivity at the level of the mind and it is simply for us to identify with the Lord and that divine master through the entire creation. That's why a Hindu person can get up in the morning and bow to the earth and know that they are bowing to Dharti Mata who is going to protect them every step today. A Hindu person can look at the sun rising in the morning and they can put their hands together and say thank you for life and thank you for your light Prabhu. A Hindu person can look at the moon and say, you know, I bow to you as you are always calm. May you keep my mind calm and peaceful. And another thing, my friends, not only that, not only the devtas are in the different aspect of the creation, the devtas are also in our bodies in different organs. Do you know your eyes have a God? Governing your eyes, you all know? Who is the God of the eyes? Anybody tell me tonight, I give you a tula do. <laughs> Who is the God of the eyes? Huh? Who said it? Very good. So the God of the eyes, Surya Narayan Swami, tula do for you. <laughs> Who is the God of the ears? I will take back my laddu. <laughs> Who is the God of the ears? You all have God in your ears and you don't know? <laughs> Please take note. God of the eyes, Surya Narayan Swami. God of the ears, Dig Devata. D-I-G, Devata. Like you know the Digpal? And then you have the God of the nose. Who are the God of the nose? So let, us, let us use like ministries, right? The ministry of the eyes, Surya Narayan Swami. Ministry of the ears, Dig Devata. Ministry of the nose. Huh? I'm sorry? Okay, 100 marks you miss. Ashwin Kumar. Ashwin Kumar is the Devatas because they have two nose, two nostrils. So you have twin devatas they are called the ashwin kumars who is the god of the mouth god of the mouth is agni dev so the mouth is always hot and to you all say ha hot mouth baba anybody ever tell you that your mouth too hot and the person right because your mouth hot because the mouth is fiery. Agni Devata is in the mouth. I'm telling you all this to come back to one thing. You see, the presence of God is everywhere in our lives. The hands have a God. The legs have a God. Bhagwan Vishnu is seated in the legs. Even the procreation organ. Prajapati Devata is seated there. Yama Devta in the excretion organ of the bodies. So every aspect of our body has a form of God. Every aspect of creation has a form of God. 
So I said all these things to come back to the, uh, what you call the Devas and the Asuras. They are brothers. Now the Devas and Asuras, they are born from Maharaj Kashyap and his wives who are called as Aditi and Diti. So Aditi and Diti. I want you to keep those names in mind. I will not make the Katha too long, but I'll make it very significant, my friends. So the wives of Kashyap Maharaj, Aditi and Diti. One of them gives birth to the Devtas and the other give birth to the Asuras. Same father. I'm going to repeat that. Same father, two wives giving birth to the Devtas, the gods, and then the next wife giving birth to the Asuras. So these two set of brothers now, wants to govern the world they are destined to govern the world they are blessed with the powers to govern the world but they don't see eye to eye and they fight and they quarrel and they want to execute each other and we seen that happening today same father same mother and brother and sister fighting and quarreling and want to destroy each other blessed Blessed is the family where there is oneness, and there is understanding, and there is love. Blessed is that family. If you have a family like that, my friends, count your blessing and cherish those members of your family because you are blessed. There are families where brothers want to destroy the others. Some brothers want to fight the sisters and some brothers want to fight the other brothers and sisters putting each one in court and that one in court and they're fighting for uh, property and wealth and all those things. And maybe they are right to fight, maybe they are not right to fight, I don't know. Maybe one is taking advantage of the other one or the other one is taking advantage. It's all happened, this, this uh, what you call advantage is being taken off. So if you have to fight, Jai Bhagwan fight. But if you're fighting for the right thing, Jai Bhagwan, Om Namah Shivai, keep on fighting. We have to fight for what is right. We can't allow the negative of the world to walk over us and to trample on us. We cannot allow the negatives of the world to conquer us. There are times when we you say, don't say, you know, well, I am a Hindu, you know, and I do really like to fight and thing. Um, so you do what you want. No. Our dharma is, if you know that you are right, you have to fight for what, you are, what is right. Because the negative forces will come and want to take it. In the Mahabharata, that is what happened. That is what transpired. Duryodhana wanted to take what was not his. So Arjuna wanted to say, okay, you want to take it, no problem. I don't care for it. Bhagwan Krishna said, that is not right. If you set this principle now, then in time to come, advantages, people will always take advantage of the innocent and the noble people. And therefore, those who would have worked hard, you have the negative forces want to come and take it. And it is happening also in even crime. So the negative elements of society wants to come and take. These, those are rather what you call the asuras of society. They are called the asuras of society. And you know, my friends, you might say, but how come one father, two mothers, one set of children are good and the other set is so bad? Why? Have you, ever, have you all ever asked that question? How come some children are so good and some children are not so good? They're still good but not so good. <laughs> hmm? And they have the same mother and father. According to the astrological panchang and according to astrology and according to time, time is very important. Before parents conceive children, sanskar in Hinduism is done. When you are preparing to have children, like for example, you are married and you and your husband planning to have a family. So both of you sit down and talk about it. Okay, so are you ready? The husband asked the wife, are you ready to have a child? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, let's pray. And we do the sanskar. Sanskar, the Garbadan sanskar is preparing both mother and father, their bodies for the reception of that 
uh, what you call the fetus to grow in the womb of the mother. So they prepare themselves physically, they prepare themselves mentally, they prepare themselves spiritually. That is why sanskar is done. So sanskar is done for the preparation, the religious and spiritual preparation of the mother and father in the conception of a baby. It don't happen. Oh, by mistake I have a baby. Happening now, no? Bisunji? Kalyug, ki mahima. By mistake, oh, I'm not really married and thinking yet, but I don't know what to do if to keep it or to get rid of it. So, you know, that kind of tendency, that kind of thoughts. Imagine the mother, young mother and young father is thinking, hey, the father saying, that is my baby, you know. Or the father say, I don't want that, you know. And that poor innocent baby inside the womb of the mother, hearing the father say, I don't want that. Oh, that is not mine. I don't care. Get rid of it. Right? Imagine the father, Baba, is saying to get rid of it. And that seed of those thoughts and those words is planted, is being planted into that young baby's mind. And let us say, the mother decides, oh, you know what? You could say what you want. I keep in it. <laughs> look, at, look at how we think about a child, eh? IT. Which is something so beyond that. But at that stage, you know, where there is misunderstanding, etc., they say, mother say, I keep in it. And this baby happened to be born in the world. And when the baby is born, my friends, they think that that child now is innocent. And so sweet and so cute. But that seed in the mind, I've got to get rid of it. I've got to get rid of it. I've got to get rid of it. My friends, let me ask you all a logical question. Maybe soon. God forbid, God forbid, God forbid. If somebody threatens your life, will you defend yourself? Isn't it? And imagine the father saying, I will get rid of it. When that child grew up and that child looked at the father, you wanted to get rid of me, I'll go fix you up. Don't think it has gone, you know. It is now growing. Those are the tendencies that forms asuras. Those are the tendencies that forms demons. Those are the tendencies that forms the negative of society. And then on the other hand, you have those parents who they go through the, what you call the viva sanskar, they plan themselves properly, they prepare themselves, they have their babies. Those babies turn out to be the devtas of society and then the other ones turns out to be the asuras of society. So don't think that this in the Devi Puran happened thousands of years ago where Aditi and Diti gave birth to the devtas and the asuras and that done and gone. My friends, it comes back into our practical lives. And for the youngsters and the youths who are on uh, at this Monday tonight, and the youngsters who are streaming live on our Facebook um, pages, keep in mind, Kalyug is the dark age. Kalyug is the dark age where dark things happen. But you know, we can change it. And I'm very proud. I'm very, very proud. Like in recent times, we have been doing sanskar for young couples, for very young couples who are planning to have babies and who are doing the sanskar, the pumsavan sanskar, the simantonia sanskar before the baby is born. And I'm very proud of those young couples because they take their spirituality, they take their baby and they take their sanskar, very important. So the first sanskar is done before conception second one is done within the third and the fourth month of the uh, family way and then between the fourth and seventh month of that baby within the womb of the mother the, the third sanskar is done the semen tonea sanskar and you know when this is done what we are doing through that sanskar is planting the seeds of positivity into the mind of that baby and also we are trying to get rid of the vasanas and the past lives ex um, past lives impressions that the baby would have been you know molded with or come into the mother's womb with we try to get those things out through the vasanas so don't take your religion lightly don't take your religiousness lightly and don't take your spirituality because my friends the the, the scriptures tells us that in time went by 
the demons and asuras were born from the same father and the same um, um, father, rather two mothers Diti and Aditi while the father remained the same the times of conception became questioned now another thing this is for information sake do you know my friends that a baby according to astrology should never be conceived during the daytime any time a baby is conceived during the day that baby receives a shrap and that shrap of the baby comes back to haunt the parents so again instead of having the what you call the devtas being born we have the asuras being born another thing my friends apart from being conceived in the daytime a baby should not be conceived during the sandhya time from 4 5 13 in the morning between the midday sandhya between 11 and 12 30 evening time sandhya between 5 and 6 37 in the evening a baby must never be conceived if a baby is conceived that time then the baby becomes an asura cursed and the parents receive the curse and that curse no asuras no demons ever honor and worship their mother and father none so you will find that the children who disrespect and what you call dishonor the parents is because my friends time of conception is important it is not my dear brothers and sisters where this child who oh, is my innocent baby no that baby came into this world with a bundle of sanskar based on especially time of conception sandhya time is important never conceive a baby a baby must never be conceived during the navratri period and times of fasting then that baby becomes asura so says the devi bhagavatam baby becomes asura with asuric qualities so you'll find parents have five children six children three of them like devtas and three of them oh bhagwan and same mother and father time of conception attitude development all these things my friends are very important and our dharma sanatan dharma tells us about these things today we find many people of the western world following the eastern culture please be attentive we find many people of the western world gravitating towards the eastern culture and the Eastern culture is feeling ashamed of their culture. You know, now you've seen yoga and thing. Everybody doing yoga, you know. And ask the Hindus who doing yoga. Is when the people of other religious beliefs and other cultures start doing it, then we wake up and say, you know what, we think, you know, we could do it too. Before we shame. You know, a long time how we used to be ashamed of your roti and thing. Long time when you go to school, better hide and eat your roti, you know. You know, it's our culture to eat our roti but long time people laughing at us Baba when I was in primary school I hiding in all different corner because it have the people who will come and say you know using the C word and they will say um, roti use the C word and you eat in roti so you kind of feel shame and we kind of was brought up with that thing that kind of attitude of be feeling shame of our culture and our religion and thing i was in mumbai i was in the city of mumbai in india and we left the ashram part of our training course was to go to the schools and 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 teach so we were teaching i was teaching one of the schools in mumbai with other students all together so we came off the bus and walking on the streets of mumbai with clothes like this white in color and the young people of Mumbai in the year 1994 were laughing at us. And this clothes belonged to them. But they were laughing at our clothes. 
We were had shaven head and we had our chulki and thing. That time I had a little bigger chulki. <laughs> now it fall out and thing a little bit, but the patch was more thick now. <laughs> So they were laughing at us of how our heads were shaved, we had our thicker and we had our clothes and walking to the schools, going to teach the children Vedanta and teach the children Vedic chanting. And those young people and youths of that time were laughing at us. Imagine. In 1994. But you know what? Even though I was a Westerner and I belonged to Trinidad and Tobago, I was so proud to lift my head and walk the streets of Mumbai, proud of who I was and what I represent and the culture I represented. My friends, our scriptures tells us that these demons, demons means people who live with demonic qualities. People whose attitudes are negative. People who just are very unreasonable and they have no right judgment. Demons. They fall into the category of Asuras. And who are the Deutas? The ones who are calm and peaceful. The one who can rationalize. The one who can make right judgments. The one who is selfless and think about others and the well-being of others. Those are Deutas. The Divine Mother, Aditi and Diti, happened to give, give birth to these sets of divine forces and these sets of negative forces. Brothers and sisters, we also came into this world with similar tendencies. But last night when we spoke about being aware, last night when we spoke about being aware of who you are and your reaction and situational the way you react to situational um, tendencies, it is very important to pay attention to you. If we pay attention to us, we can get rid of the demonic tendencies or the negative tendencies in us. But this don't happen just like that. It happens with the grace and the blessing of the Divine Mother. It is said, Teri Sharan Aaye Deko Hai Ambe Mata Teri Sharan Aaye Deko Hai Ambe Mata Charo Di Shase Bhakti Ashase Bhakto Ki Peerai O Mata शरण आए देखो है अम्बे माता तेरी शरण आए देखो है अम्बे माता दिन रात तेरी पूजा करेंगे सुख हो या दुख हो हम सब कहेंगे हल हाल तेरी भक्ति करेंगे भक्तों की पीरा भक्तों की पीरा हरने वाली माँ कोटि कोटि है प्रणाम ओ माता तेरी शरण जन की अर्चन ग्रहण करो माँ दुनिया 
दुनिया की रक्षा दुनिया की रक्षा करने वाली माँ रोशन कहे तेरा नाम ओ माता तेरी शरण आई देखो है अम्बे माता बोलो तेरी शरण आई May we not become the victim of the demonic tendencies. May we never become the victim of the negativities, O Divine Mother. May there be positivities and may the positive tendencies and qualities conquer the negative ones. We beg of you this night. Oh mother, please let your grace and your mercy be upon me. Why? Because, please be very attentive. Because these two, Asuras and Devatas, are within me. The Asuras and demons are within us. And one out of the two, let us just say Asuras and the demons. Asuras mean demons. And the devtas, sorry. So the devtas and the asuras, they are within us, right? Now, please be very attentive. The company that we keep will invoke the devtas or the asuras in us that might be lying dormant. So, Let's say I associate myself with Vasudev, Panaji. Or I associate myself with Mama, Mama here. Or I associate myself with Bisun. I associate myself with um, Amar. I am guaranteed sure that these are good people. Because I'm sure Bisun will not encourage me to do something that is not good. I am sure Pandit Vasudev will not encourage me to do something that is not good. I am sure Mama will not encourage me to do something that is not good. These people will help me to invoke the Devata-like qualities in me, the Devata's qualities in me, the, what you call the positive qualities in me. That's why... It is said, always find yourself in the company of the good. Because in the company of good or satsang, as it is said, you are guaranteed that good things will be spoken of. And that's why when you go to satsang, boys, all you boys, who are in satsang every day? Always. <laughs> when you are in satsang, always talk good things. Because sometimes you can go in satsang and talk bad things too, you know. You know, you have to be careful. Sometimes you could come to the mandir and you're inside the mandir and talking bad things. Check back on yourself quickly. Hey, this is the wrong place to talk this thing. I'm going to go down by the road and talk it and come back up. <laughs> Isn't it? Wrong place and wrong company. I can't talk these bad things with these people. Don't even let the tongue slip. 
my guruji swami anubhavanand ji he always says he says don't think about something bad even by mistake and if you think it don't say it but even by mistake don't let the tongue slip so important is satsang now we have to invoke the the devtas in us and we have to find the people who will help us to invoke those devtas with us in us and when you find them stay close to them when you find those people who will help you invoke the devtas in you stay very close to them and just like that mama you have the people who will also invoke the asuras in you because the two powers are in within us and that's why my friends you see everybody here tonight have a good side and everybody have a bad side we have to let the bad side sleep you have to let the bad side which is the demonic side sleep and if you find the demonic side is becoming awakened remember you think in the ramayan when they say kumkaran sleeping for 6 months you think that is a story friends i want to be practical when you read the ramayan let us be logical right The Ramayana tells you Ravan had a brother. One name was Vibhishan, and the other one name was Kumbakarna. Ravan was the king, and it goes into the description of Ravan with ten heads and very powerful and mighty. And then he had a next brother. He used to eat for six months, and he used to sleep for six months. Who could sleep for six months? Let's be logical. You take all the sleeping pills in the world after ten, twelve hours together, isn't it? So don't interpret the Ramayana to be a story book that doesn't know what it is talking about kumbhakarana sleeping for 6 months means that the demon kumbhakarana is within us but we have to keep him sleeping because if that fellow wake up he going to fight and who wake, who would wake him up who would wake him up hmm who said who ravana sent to wake up kumbhakarana Huh? Hey, Amar. You all do remember? You remember when the war was going on? Ravan told the demons. He said, "Hey, all go and wake up Kumbhakarna. We in trouble." And they gone with some drums and the demons. Demons wake up demons. Demons. wakes up demons so when you hear some people say you get me vex or you get me mad demons wakes up demons and the reality is that person just woke up the demon in you that was sleeping That's why you see when some people get angry, they pelt stuff, they curse, they yell, they chumkey, they patkey, they don't talk to you for months, they swell up. Demons, you know, overpower them. So every time they see you, them real vex and they real angry, and they just can't help themselves. Poor thing, those individuals can't help themselves, and that's why. if you come down you put your hands together and just bend your head and pray for them because they need prayers the demon needs prayers the demon need hanuman to come in the demon needs hanuman to come into their lives and teach them a good fairy lesson that's why hanuman hanuman ji He said to Bhagwan Sri Ram, He said, "Jad pinat bahu, avagun mori, sevak prabhu hi para jani bhori, Sri Ram Jaya." जय जय राम श्री राम 
राम जय राम जय जय राम सी एवरीबॉडी श्री राम जय राम This is the sweetness of satsang. See how everybody is singing, and the voice very soothing and sweet. Shri Hanuman ji, tell Shri Ram. Jai Ram, Shri Ram, Jai Jai Ram, Shri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram. नाथ जीव तव माया मोहा नाथ जीव तव माया मोहा सोमेश्रय तुम्हारे ही चोहा बोलो श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम Ji had to step in into Lanka to fight the demons during that time of the war because my friends Kumbhakarna was sleeping. Friends, Kumbhakarna is sleeping in all of us, all of us. That's why some of us we eat whole day, <laughs> but that's good, isn't it? And we sleep whole night. <laughs> But sometimes people eat whole day and whole night. Anyway, that's just supposed to be funny. You're not supposed to eat whole day and whole night. Kumbhakarana is sleeping inside of us. He is the demon that, you know, sometimes the demons are awakened. So next time you come into contact with a demon who try to wake you up, wake up the demon in you. Please, do wake up. Keep sleeping. Another thing, another very important point, and that is, you know, sometimes we do a whole lot of good things, and then intentionally we do bad things. We do a whole lot of good things, you know, no doubt. And we are 
love for what we do, but then we just, a little bit of demon get invoked and we just cancel off all the good we do. We have to be careful of that also. And sometimes we go in satsang, we go into the Monday, we go into the religious institutions, we're doing a lot of good things, but then we get caught up and we cancel it off. So this Chopai, Hanumanji is telling the Lord here, he says, Lord, I have many, many faults and many limit limitations. It's in fact innumerable. But there's only one thing I ask of you. Sevaka Prabhuhi Parai Jani Bhore. Please look upon me as your beloved servant. And that is all. Let your servant serve you, my Lord. And please see me as your servant. See what Hanumanji is asking. And then in the next Chopai, he says, Prabhu, this is where I find myself in difficulties. Not knowing you, I am lost in this world. Not the Jeeva Tava Maya Moha. I have been influenced by the Maya and the Moha of this world. And so Nishtray Tumhari, Tumhari, he, uh, what you call? Shoha. Although through your grace, I can be free. I have been lost in this Maya. Friends, although through the grace of the Lord, we all can keep that Kumbhakarana sleeping. We all can keep that, uh, what you call? Asuras, asleep in us. Yet, sometimes they get awakened. Trust me, my friends. Please, trust us tonight. When the demon, the, when the Kumbhakarana in us, and when the Mahisha Sur in us is awakened, they are waking up to fight. Nothing else. Can I ask you all a personal question? You don't have to answer. I just want you to think. Do you remember the last time Kumbhakarana wake up in you? Just think. When was the last time Kumbhakarana wake up? And when he woke up, how did you behave? Oh God, Baba, we really won't say that one. <laughs> okay, so when Kumbhakarana, I can tell you, when Kumbhakarana woke up in the Ramayana, he started to fight and roll on the ground and, you know, crushing all the servants of Sri Ram. All the little monkeys and Vanaras and all those who were there close to him. And you know, when they threw the weapons at him, he would just, you know, a huge weapon, like a javelin for the monkeys was like a matstick for Kumbhakarana. So imagine the monkeys holding that javelin and they... And Kumbhakarana catch it like a matstick oh, ooh, and throw it back at him. <laughs> you know, it's like that. The demons, for the demons, pain and suffering is nothing. You see, for the good people, pain is tremendous. So coming back to the Devi Puran, these sons of Aditi and Diti are within us, my friends. So I just refer to the Ramayana so that we all can, you know, understand why the Ramayana spoke about Kumbhakarana sleeping for six months and waking up for, and eating for six months, that is. So this is a philosophy of it. But Kumbhakarana and coming back to the Devi Bhagavatam, really Aditi, um, sorry, yes, Aditi and Diti gave birth to these two qualities, these two sets of sons that are within us, the demons as well as the devatas. So they are all within us. And if they are in us, then we have to keep them awake. The deutas. We have to keep the deutas alive. The deutas cannot fight to die. The deutas, when they were threatened, very, in the very sad Devi Bhagavatam, by the poison of the churning of the ocean, they had to remain alive. And Bhagwan Vishnu strategized with the deutas. He used strategy 
to get rid of the demons and to save the devtas. And that is why, friends, we all have to be our own strategists. We all have to practice strategy in our lives to survive. In spirituality, in peace, use strategy. Think. Think in a strategic way of how to get yourself out of situation in a positive way as well. When the demons attack, they will attack, my friends, with full force. And I'll tell you something tonight. Be very attentive and remember. When the demons are fighting, they are fighting with heat and anger. And that will block their right thinking. And when the deltas are fighting, they are also fighting. But they are fighting with love and devotion and honesty for a bigger cause a positive cause so their mind is clear while the deutas are fighting with their mind clear the demons are fighting with their mind clouded with anger and um anger and greed so naturally the deutas are going to win the demons fight if you must You know the Karate Kid? You all know the movie Karate Kid? I think that movie was this one. Huh? 2010? The latest one? Not the latest one, the one before that. Long time one. Yeah, the long time one. The Chinese, um, Chinese teacher who was a martial arts expert, he told the Karate Kid, he said, fight if you must. But to win. Huh? That showed last night TV. Jai <laughs> Bhagwan. Mama says she see it last night. In direct TV. <laughs> Are they rerun tonight? <laughs> Fight if you must. But win. But he said it in a very uh, strategic way, you know. First he tell him, he said, after you went through months of training and fight and cough and kick and all those things and finger and thing burst up the karate kid. Then the teacher told him, said, don't fight. But if you must, win. And the only way to win is with your mind calm and balanced. Friends, the demons and asuras came from the same universe the same father, the same Shakti that is called Diti and Aditi. And both of them having different tendencies like you and I. Remember, remember, remember tonight. The Asuras and the Devatas are within us. You decide which one you want to sleep and you decide which one you want to keep awake. For this, we ask the Divine Mother to shower her grace upon us tonight through this final bhajan, as our time is now telling us to stop. It says, dedicate this bhajan tonight to a very wonderful mother Babuni Bidesi we pray to the Divine Mother to bless her soul today made it one year since she left this world oh Devi Ma please listen to our prayer tonight and Ma please protect her soul and bless her soul tonight Toma Vinti Suno Sabaki Kalyan karo jag ka Tum vinti suno sab ki Kalyan karo jag ka Sat rahat ka kar ki Dhar karo durga 
उधार करो दुर्गा तुम बिंदु सुनो सबकी सबकी अभिलाषा है मन में रहो तुम सबके तुमसे यही आशा है दर्शन ज्योति चला करके रोशन करो जग सारा रोशन करो जग सारा तुम बिंदी सुनो सबकी कल्याण करो जग का कभी धूप कभी छाया है एक दिन उसे जाना है जो भी यहाँ आया है संसार तो आया है कभी धूप कभी छाया है एक दिन उसे जाना है जो भी है जीवन का क्या रूप है मानव का तुम ज्ञान भरा करके उपकार करो दुर्गा उपकार करो दुर्गा तुम बिंदु सुनो सबकी ज्ञान करो उधार करो दुर्गा सुनो माय फ्रेंड्स टू कीप द असुराज स्लीपिंग विथ एन आस we need to keep the devotees awake so keep the devotees awake by positive thoughts and positive life style by positivity and in that way let kumbhakarna sleep do we here at all let the demon sleep in that way we wouldn't have a war in that way we wouldn't have negativities in that way we remain peaceful on the side of devi ma on the side of that which is divine and pure so with this message tonight i conclude our discourse and let me extend our sincere thanks once again to the family of shri babuni bidesi for sponsoring tonight's devotion here at this mandir and my friends remember when you come to the mandir this is your mandir this is your community this is your place of worship and you know even though that there is an executive committee you can come and fall in and do seva with love and with devotion just do things for the mandir and do things for your community and don't look for even your name to be called tonight i ask bhai abisun for this for the names of the devotees of the mandir you know 
and I could see his face. He looked, why Baba? We really don't want our name to be uh, mentioned, you know. But you know what? I wanted to mention these names because these are people who are very, my friends, pure in soul. To be living like this in this community and doing things like this for this community. Baya, you all keep on doing these wonderful things. We are all very proud of you and it is you all who are the real deutas in our communities and in our country. People like you all. God bless every one of you. And I know Kavita Ji, she was here last night. Eh? She recently had a baby also, but yet still very active and stuff in the Monday. Young people, God blessings to all of them. So friends, in this way, when we do things like these, we keep the deutas alive. In fact, not alive, awake and awaken in us rather than the demons. Prem Saboliye Jagadamba Devi Mata Ki Uma Pati Mahadeva Ki Jai this time, we'll have one bhajan from Karishma Ji. And remember, my friends, we are also live tonight on Heritage Radio 101.7 FM. We'd like to express our sincerest thanks to Uncle Hans and his family, and of course, the listening audience on Heritage Radio 101.7 FM. A couple people have been asking for requests or requesting through Facebook for links to share the page and the live stream. So I don't know if you could facilitate that, facilitate that Nirala, and also to um, Kavita and others, for those who are asking for, to share. In that way, we have a wider audience, and we have a, what you call, a bigger listenership. So thank you very much.
and a sincere thanks to everybody who have come for making the sacrifice to be here tonight and there is a, a nice beautiful bookmark with some prayer prayer to the divine mother on behalf of the family of Sri Babuni Bidesi they'll be giving this out to everybody as a gift tonight as a token of their love and blessings and we all would of course offer a prayer for the departed mother Let's all stand for our final arti and our closing prayer. Tonight we dedicate the arti to some really wonderful people in Florida, in New York. Someone by the name of Srimati Kumari, who is not very well. And I dedicate this prayer in the form of the arti to her. I also dedicate this prayer to a very wonderful person by the name of Bhaya Kumar and his wonderful Dharma Patni in New York. Sali Didi, we dedicate this prayer to you that you can also um, brighten the parts of your life as Bhaya Jibi Heal. I dedicate this prayer also to a wonderful child who is very young but is going through a lot health-wise. I dedicate this prayer to Nirad. May Durga Mata protect and bless you and your beautiful family. Sunno Meri Devi Parvata Vasini Tera Palan Paya Tera Palan Paya सुनो मोरी देवी पर्वत वासिनी तेरा पालन पाया माँ तेरा पालन पाया पान 
सुपारी त्वचा नारियल पान सुपारी त्वचा नारियल रे तेरे भेद चढ़ाया मोरी देवी पर्वत वासी तेरा पालन पाया चोल तेरे अंग विराजे केसर तिलक लगाया माँ केसर तिलक लगाया सुमुरी देवी पर्वत वासी तेरा पान लगाया वेद परे तेरे द्वारे ब्रह्मा वेद परे तेरे द्वारे शंकर ध्यान लगाया सुमुरी देवी पर्वत वासी तेरा पान लगाया पर्वत बांधो दीवाला उच्च पर्वत बांधो दीवाला नीचे शहर बसाया सुनमुरी देवी पर्वत वासी तेरा पालन पाया दीप नई बेजार थे ओ दूप दीप नई बेजार थे मोहन भोग लगाया देवी पर्वत वास तेरा पालन पाया
स्वस्ति प्रजाभ्य परिपालयन्ता न्यायेन मार्गेन महि महिषा गो ब्राह्मणेभ्य शुभमस्तु नित्यम लोका समस्ता सुकिनो भवन्तु काले वर्षतु परजन्य पृथ्वी सस्य शालिनी देशो यमशो बरहित ब्राह्मण आसन तो निर्भया ओम सर्वे शाम स्वस्तिर भवतु सर्वे शाम शांतिर भवतु सर्वे शाम पूर्णम भवतु सर्वे शाम मंगलम भवतु सर्वे भवन्तु सुकिनह सर्वे संतु निरामया सर्वे भद्रानि पश्यन्तु मा कश्चित दुख भार भवे असतो मा सत्कमय तमसो मा जोतिर गमय मृत्योर मा अमृतम गमय त्वमेव माता चपिता त्वमेव त्वमेव विद्या द्रविनम् त्वमेव त्वमेव सर्वम् मामदेव देव शिवहरे शिवराम सके प्रभो त्रिविदता पनिवार नहीं विभो अजजने श्वरया दव पाहिमा शिवहरे विजयम् पुरुमेवरम् ओ पूर्णमदह पूर्णमिदम् पूर्णात् पूर्णमुदच्छते पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवावशिष्यते ओम शांति 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 हरि हियो श्री गुरु भ्योनम हरि हियो कृष्णार्पणमस्तु प्रेम इस बुले वृंदावन विहारीलाल की जय उमापति महादेव की जय पवन सुधानुमान की जय नव दुर्गा माता की जय बोलो भाई सब संतन की जय हर हर नमः पार्वती पते हर हर महादेव प्रेम से बोलिए सत्य सनातन धर्म की कातन मेंडेस मंदिर की जय फूड की जय जय सीताराम प्लीज हैव योर सीट्स एस यू रिसीव योर आरती योर पंचामृत योर प्रसादम मील्स आर प्रोवाइडेड फॉर वन ऑल विद लॉट्स ऑफ लव लेट्स चैंट द बोजन मंत्र ओम ब्रह्मार पनम ब्रह्म विहि ब्रह्मागनो ब्रह्मनाहुतम ब्रह्मे वते नगंतव्यम ब्रह्मकर्म समाधिना अहम् वैश्वानरो भूत्वा प्राणिनाम देहमाशुतः प्राणापान समायुक्तः पचाम्यनम् चतुर्विदम् भोजन मंत्रा सो वी ऑल कैन एन्जॉय अवधेना